degrees out there this morning. It is a little chilly, but we're just looking forward to the end of the week when we see that warm up. Can't wait for that, Danielle. <laughs> I know. It's all we've been talking about all week. I think we're a little psyched about it, you guys. And temperatures next couple days will be a little bit on the chilly side, but we're waiting on the warmer air this morning. It's a little bit of a shock because we're 10 to 20 degrees colder than this time yesterday. It was such a mild start to the day. This morning, not the case. 15 in Plymouth, New Hampshire, 17 in Concord, 20 on the nose in Nashua right now. It's 25 in Lawrence, 29 in Beverly, low 30s in the city, and we have low 30s back out on Cape Cod as well. We've had a little bit of uh, echo returns coming back out over Cape Cod. Looks like we may see a flurry or two. It's actually coming off of some ocean effect, but I'm not expecting an impact there. You may see literally a flake or two out over P-Town. That's about it. High pressure building in clear skies, fair weather building into New England. There'll still be a bit of an active breeze today. Um, we're talking 10 to 20 miles per hour, adding a little bit of a bite to the air. Tomorrow, the high builds right over us, though. So that means a lighter wind tomorrow. Light enough, in fact, that sea breezes kick in along the immediate coastline tomorrow and keep us cooler at the coast. That high will slip off the coastline. The air around it blows in a clockwise direction. So on Thursday, we get a southerly wind, warmer wind. Temperatures climb into the 50s. Plenty of sun the next several days. And then it's the approaching front on Thursday night that will bring us a chance of a shower. And that risk may linger into Friday. Isolated, isolated chance of a shower. Saturday, morning clouds part for sun. We jump 65 to 70. Sunday, tracking an approaching front. Still several days out. The timing will definitely play a role in terms of how warm we'll stay and when the clouds and showers are going to move in. So right now, it doesn't look until late in the day, but we'll keep you posted in the next several days as we kind of pinpoint down when that front is going to move through. Cooler air will come in behind it. Highs today, right around to just over 40. Cooler than average. And then you get a factor in the wind, right? So it's a chilly feel. But look at the sun out in full force today from start to finish. 40 in Plymouth, 46 in Taunton, low 40s for us on Cape Cod. With that wind factored in, though, you can expect wind chill values in the 20s this morning. This is lunchtime, still feeling like the upper 20s to low 30s. And it will stay that way right on through the afternoon for many of us. We're dressing for winter today still. Overnight tonight, we drop back into the 20s again. Some of the most outlying suburbs dip back into the teens. Plenty of sunshine and a couple fair weather clouds tomorrow too. 47, but around 40 at the coast with sea breezes kicking in. By the time we get to Thursday, sun and clouds breezy and milder. Highs in the mid-50s, 60s to end the week on Friday, and we climb well into the 60s on Saturday. I think that's our best shot of hitting 70. It'll be cooler along the south coast. Increasing clouds late on Sunday with a threat for showers cooler for the start of next week. What